Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Jamie Nook, and today we're going to take a stroll through the park and play some Trap Dead. Right now, we are in the first part of the library mission, and what we're doing here is not renting books or anything like that. We don't have late books that we have to return, but we're going to help the sheriff's friend, and his name is Bo. Um, he trapped himself inside the roof not inside but on the roof of the library and I guess he's like a really good shot or something so the sheriff recommended that we should go find him and as I struggle to move my characters together here and they're, they're kind of raping the sheriff but they finally get a move on so now we're gonna work our way to the the main road uh, just got out of the sewers uh, and doing our planning and whatnot and <clears throat> working our way into the library. Uh, we can't actually go through the front door of the library, so we end up having to go all the way around into the side entrance. So just take some time over there and run into these. They have these fast-moving zombies, the, the woman over here. Uh, they they kind of run, and then they have they do a lot of DPS, and it really hurts. So here's Bo. And I'll let him talk. Do you want to play hide and seek forever or start helping me? There's no damn cartridges left. Bring me my ammunition and don't ask why I left it down there. I blew the stairs up, so use the fire escape ladder. Alright, so what we have to do is work our way through the side of the library all the way into the uh, other entrance and then climb up the ladder to meet our new friend but I don't know why we don't just um, hop the fence and just shortcut all the way to the ladder but of course um, either the sheriff's too fat or they don't want to leave the doctor behind but either way um, this is the first instance where you find banked blood. Uh, what the banked blood does is <clears throat> you can actually throw it like a projectile uh, towards uh, zombies or I guess your teammates if you like. But what happens is once you throw the banked blood onto a zombie or a group of zombies is they will... I guess what happens is they they think that it's a, a real person uh, I mean they're just attracted to the blood so they start attacking each other and they end up killing each other uh, after a certain amount of time of attacking each other <coughs> but pretty useful if you have a giant horde of zombies chasing you and um, you just kinda wanna get away But as we work our way down the street just walking along uh, not a care in the world not really sure why they don't just run all the time because I mean there are a lot of zombies here I guess they don't want to alarm all of them but still they could at least walk at a brisk pace and um, you know like they have somewhere to go but that's just my opinion anyways we're gonna go and hit the safe spot up here real quick just in case anything comes up <clears throat> and then work our way to the next save point I do believe there are one two three four save points in this map and you don't you don't have to find all of them it's just helps you on your way along in case you mess up or something since you can't actually save whenever you want to I guess uh, when they made this game, uh, they didn't want to, like, waste space on your computer with a billion saves, so they just gave you limited amount, <clears throat> which I guess would be helpful if we played this game like 30 years ago or something. But anyways, Sheriff's over here trying to fight the zombie on his own, and... Uh, sometimes they're really slow with their attacks and they let the zombies hit them. 
and then I guess just to be fair, since they're about to get their bean, their not their beans, their brains beaten out, so they let the zombies get a few free hits on them. But here's the side entrance. Um, a nice little trick I do sometimes is if there is a giant horde of zombies, um, I take uh, Mike and the sheriff and I put them on both sides of the door and then I have the doctor open the door, uh, run in, do some damage and then have him run out and bait all the zombies through and as they funnel through the door um, Mike and the sheriff will start attacking them with their melee weapons and in this mission it proves to be uh, a pretty pretty reliable strategy um, uh, it wouldn't really work if you didn't have a uh, door or some obstruction to funnel them through but it does really help out to save ammo because also since the melee weapons do pretty decent damage at pretty much all the levels so far um, I only use the the guns for the doctor and sometimes with the with the sheriff when I need to use the shotgun but most of the time I just let the doctor sit back and heal people while Mike and the sheriff run off and go crazy with their axes and his bats <clears throat> But this next part is a pretty, it's got a pretty big wave of zombies, so I'm going to clear out this room right here and also the bathroom just in case they come bashing through the doors and uh, try to attack us from behind. But also with my, when I fight the, the zombies, I try not to pause too much uh, simply because I don't want to waste a lot of time just uh, in the pause menu inputting commands. Uh, because this game does get pretty micro intensive and even though it's only three characters it's it's kind of kind of tough tough to manage because you got a lot of go a lot of stuff going on but I do try to keep the pausing to a minimum so that um, you don't just stare at a screen of nothing moving around and it kind of keeps the flow of the game going it keeps everything moving and interesting but nothing really in this bathroom besides the blank blank not blank the bank blood and the other bathroom there's nothing in it so you don't really need to go in there um, I do believe there is ammo on the stage over there to the right so um, if you're low on ammo you can probably go pick that up and here you'll see a demonstration of what I was talking about with the with Mike and the sheriff where they where I have them placed on both sides uh, to attack the zombies as they funnel through and I'll have the doctor run through and um, shoot a couple zombies try and get them lined up and get a multi hit with his pistol but um there we go a strange thing when you're using the range weapons is if they run out of ammo they don't automatically reload and so sometimes they'll be just sitting there with an empty clip like right there uh, his clip is empty and I forget about it so he kinda has to reload real quick and just waste a couple seconds but nothing not a big deal because they are getting stuck trying to crawl through the doorway <clears throat> but um did I get a like a triple hit or something it's kinda weird but it's still cool so now that I've cleared that room out we still have to go through I believe one two three six more rooms before we get to the the ladder and here it's it's not that big of a wave but I still try to keep them grouped together so that Mike and the sheriff can hit them both at the same time and leave the doctor in the back to just do some damage with his pistol 
but not not nothing too hard here. Nothing really going on. And I'm just gonna beat up this girl right here because they do a lot of damage if you let them get close enough to you to do damage. And this room right here on the right, you don't really have to do it. Um, you can actually skip through most of these fights, but I just enjoy uh, slapping zombies with my baseball bat and um, axe. But <clears throat> I do clear it out anyways, just in case they come creeping behind me. And I don't know what the doctor is doing here, but he's trying to... He's trying to get in there and join the party, so I get him, before he gets killed, I move him out. And also, <clears throat> the zombies sm smell the blood, or sense the blood that Mike is spilling, so they start charging through really quickly. And I didn't have, I didn't have time to set up properly, yeah, but I get, I get the job done with what's going on here <clears throat> but sometimes um, if you have like really long battles of melee battles you start running out of stamina so I'm not sure if there's any kind of uh, like like Red Bull or something that they drink and get a lot of stamina back but I sure hope so because uh, once they run out of stamina as you know they'll just they won't be able to do anything but walk around uh, they can't swing their weapons and they can't run so they're pretty much useless for a moment of time and here we get to the second save point and I'll continue in the next part